Hello everyone, this is Kathy from House of Tofel, and I'm at a ranch in Southern California looking at a very unique bird called the emu. Today's lecture will be a listening lecture at an intermediate level. You will find the questions and the answer key in the description for this video. So let's begin. The emu is native to Australia and its range covers most of mainland Australia. But the Tasmanian Kangaroo Island and King Island subspecies became extinct after the European settlement of Australia in the 1700s. The emu is the second tallest bird in the world, only being exceeded in height by the ostrich. The largest individual emus can reach up to 190 centimeters in height. Emus are the fourth or fifth heaviest living bird after the two species of ostriches and two larger species of cassowaries, weighing slightly more on average than an emperor penguin. Emus have three toes on each foot, which is an adaptation for running and is seen in other birds such as quails. Although flightless, Emus have vestigial wings measuring around 20 centimeters, and each wing has a small claw at the tip. Emus flap their wings when running. They do this as a means of stabilizing themselves when moving quickly. They have long necks and legs and can run at speeds of up to 48 kilometers per hour. An emu's legs are devoid of feathers, and underneath its feet are thick, thick cushioned pads. Like the bird, the cassowary, the emu has sharp claws on its toes, which are its major defensive attribute and are used in combat to inflict wounds on its opponents by kicking. Emus have good eyesight and hearing, which allows them to detect threats at some distance. The neck of the emu is pale blue and shows through its sparse feathers. They have gray-brown plumage of shaggy appearance. The shafts and the tips of the feathers are black. Solar radiation is absorbed by the tips and the inner plumage insulates the skin. This special feature prevents the birds from overheating allowing them to be active during the highest heat of the day. The sexes are similar in appearance, although the female emus are larger than the males. The weight of the female is approximately 40 pounds, while males weigh in at about 35 pounds. The plumage varies in color due to environmental factors, giving the bird a natural camouflage. Feathers of emus in more arid areas with red soils have a reddish tint, while birds residing in muddy, wet conditions are generally brown in hue. The adult plumage has developed by about 15 months. The eyes of an emu are protected by membranes. These are translucent secondary eyelids. These membranes move horizontally from the inside edge of the eye to the outside edge. These membranes function as visors to protect the eye from the dust that is prevalent in windy, arid regions. The vocalization of emus mostly consists of various booming and grunting sounds. The booming is created by the inflatable throat pouch, and the pitch can be regulated by a bird and depends on the size of the throat aperture. Most of the booming is done by females and is part of the courtship ritual used to announce the holding of territory or is done as a threat to rivals. That brings us to the end of our lecture. Now I will read you the questions. Please click on the description of this video to follow along and then scroll down to see the answer key. Question one. Which bird is taller than the emu? Question 
Question two: What does the emu use its wings for? Question three: How does the emu prevent overheating? Question four: What does the emu have in common with the cassowary? Question five: What is the main difference between the male and female emu? Question six. How does the emu protect its eyes? Question seven: Why does the professor say this? Most of the booming is done by females. It is part of the courtship ritual used to announce the holding of territory, or is done as a threat to rivals. Now, just a quick side note: lectures have six questions. I just added a bonus question, so you could have some extra practice. Again, see the description of this video for the choices and for the answer key. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Kathy from www.houseoftoefl.com. Please feel free to visit my website for much more of these types of materials and other types of practice and my blog. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me, and good luck on your test.